Welcome aboard. In this video I prepared the bulb for assembling with the dagger board and then I put them together. It wasn't easy but it went well. I've decided to build a trailer because I don't want to be caught out um, not being able to galvanize the trailer, trailer close to Christmas. So before I do the trailer I need to know the exact bulb position. Um, to know that I have to attach the bulb to the dagger board. It's not a simple task. I've got to every, get everything lined up. I've got to put two holes in the lead. I'm not sure if I'm going to tap the holes yet or drill them right through and put a nut on the other side. Yesterday I welded up those plates that's on the right there. That's the lifting plate that goes on the deck. The one on the left goes on top of the dagger board. Yeah, I've got to cut a notch for that um, dagger board to fit into this lead bulb. There's two layers of Kevlar, 400 gram I think it is, and there's a single layer of um, 400 gram double bias. I'll come back after lunch and give it a coat of thickened epoxy. So the mission today is to um, wash off the blush there. You just use water for that. I put a little bit of detergent in, roll it over, trim off the fiberglass and put two layers of um, double bias on the top side. Trying to do it all in one go turned out to be quite tricky. So hopefully this plastic will peel off and leave a very nice result. Not as easy as it looks because on this template, made this lovely template, it's not going to be a, quite a proper NACA profile. What do you think, Adrian? fun but it's in and tomorrow we'll be doing the holes to make a long drill I'm TIG welding one of the bolts to the tapping size for 12 millimeters I've made a lot of drills like this before but I was attempting to straighten this one just a little bit it wasn't too bad and of course it snapped 
So I'll have to have another go. It took a while and I broke it twice, but I pretty much had to weld it in the right spot, re-weld it, just put little spots on to straighten it. The first drill is just a centering drill to start the hole. So here we go. Then I'm sliding the whole dagger board back. There they are. There the holes are centered. Oh no, I hit some stainless steel. I'm going to try the other hole. And if I hit stainless steel there, I might have to rethink my strategy. This is about the depth I hit stainless before at the end of this little 10 millimeter bit. So far so good. Now I've hit a, some kind of void on the second hole at about 90 millimeters. I was hoping for um, 96. That would give me a ratio of um, eight times the diameter of the bolt in thread, but five or six apparently is okay too. So we were within the range. <laughs> Just who knows how big the hole is. Also hitting here. Well, I got through the stainless on this um, hole over here. I might have oversized a little bit trying to get through the stainless because I had to really force it through, of course. Couldn't put a pilot drill through. That leaves either putting an insert in there, and I haven't really got the gear for that, I've decided. <clears throat> I've pretty much decided I'm going to drill all the way through. My bolts are long enough, I haven't trimmed them to length yet. If I go right through, I can put a plate and nut on the bottom. If I went through the side here, there's a chance I could hit some stainless steel in there. That's not worth the risk. I had to make a counterbore. I hope it works. It probably should be two-sided. We'll see how it goes. The cutter worked really well yesterday despite the fact that I was hitting some stainless steel as you can see at the end of the arrow there. I'm surprised it didn't break and I've made up a 6mm washer out of 316 stainless steel so we can begin preparation for putting it together. The final assembly. I've certainly been sure to put some anti-seize on those threads. Anyone who's used stainless before a lot knows that without warning it can seize when you're putting a nut on. I've had some very awkward situations over the years. When that happens it's not always easy to get apart of course. Because the bolts are lubricated you don't want to over tighten them. There's a bit of stretch in them of course. I think we're all ready. Got some grease on those shafts because they're going to get glue on them down there and it'll make them so much harder to remove. It's all cleaned and sanded in there and on there. Got some glass ready to go on there when those are in.
So this is where I got up to yesterday. The bolts are in, it's all glued together. I glassed and fed down the bottom there. Today I just have to do some more sanding. Sand the whole thing and maybe hopefully get two coats of um, Durapox white on it. I was hoping to finish um, and get this in the boat this week. Um, I'm running a little bit of overtime on my time I allocated for this. and starting to eat into what I was going to spend on building the trailer, but that's normal. So if you've watched this far, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please subscribe and give it a like. And we'll see you next week. And I'm pretty sure this will be in the boat, painted. And um, the boat may be back up the other way again, because I'm going to have to roll the boat over on its side to insert this. Then I'll roll it back upright, and I'm, then I can build a trailer. See you next week.